So hi everyone. As John said, I'll uh, I'll give you a tour through the insects tonight. As you can see here, I brought some of the little friends for you to see. They are all edible. We are safe. <laughs> so. Um, like starting uh, with the intro, uh, we all know at the moment that um, by 2050, uh, we will be around 10 billion people in our planet, which means that our population is increasing so rapidly. So which means, and uh, we will take us um, to a food shortage and to a protein supply shortage. So for that, um, we will need to consider um, another alternative protein sources, or let's say more sustainable sources of protein. So with that, we bring the, our insects um, to this game. And our insects, uh, edible insects, are very well known and widespread that they are uh, a huge source of uh, high valuable protein, as well as they have a very nice content of vitamins that we all know, minerals, and the good fatty acids like in the, let's say, the omega-3 and omega-6 that we all know about it. And on top of that, the insects, um, for the production of insects, uh, let's say they are environmentally friendly when compared to, let's say, farming cows or f farming for beef or farming for pigs or something like that, because the amount of, let's say, the, the amount of land or the amount of energy or the amount of water that we need to produce insects, it's far, far less than we need for the other type of activities. So let's say, for example, <clears throat> to produce 10 kg of beef, we will need an Aviva stadium. But to produce the same amount of insects, we need a tiny bedroom. So this big, this, this, all these factors are turning the insects um, like the future, one of our future proteins, and uh, making them very sustainable. So here in Chagask, what are we doing? <coughs> Sorry. So we are doing, we are trying to understand how we can modify the, um, the, the nutritional value of our mealworms and our uh, crickets because we are feeding them with, let's say, non-used food, food products. We are uh, feeding them, for example, with uh, wheat bran or oats or, let's say, chicken feather meal. We, we are also using, for example, let's say, red blood cells from porks and uh, in the powder form to understand how they can accumulate and, for example, to be in the future a uh, superfood full of iron for all of us. But are they safe for consumption? This is something that we are uh, learning and studying at the moment. So what I'm doing with my colleagues here in Chagask is we are screening the bugs that are present on them. But we have uh, so far, we are just learning because the insects are not uh, yet legal for consumption in Ireland. But what we are finding so far is that the, they are within the frame guidelines for minced beef, the minced beef that we found on, in our supermarket shelves. So, so far, they are very, very promising. But we have one question. What about to eat them? We all know that the Europeans look for the insects as like yuck, like a, a yuck factor. Like I will ask, will you eat this for tonight? Well, what we are trying to do here with uh, our research community, what we are trying to do is just trying to find a way to produce and process uh, uh, insects as ingredients to incorporate them further in this delicious type of foods. Let's say, for example, if you didn't knew it, you will eat it, right? They look delicious, but they, they are all insect powders we have here. For example, this granola is with cricket powder. This uh, carrot spread is with mealworm powder. And these are mealworm pa pasta and so on. For example, we have that 
cricket powder that we can use for to go to the gym uh, and make our protein shakes and so on. So uh, with that, and to wrap up, I think, in my opinion, that insects are are very sustainable, and I think they are one of our future proteins. Thank you. <laughs>